welcome to this short video on MT4 Supreme, how to trade the inside candle automatically utilizing this tool. Before I do get started, please understand that any advice in this session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, so the aim of this exercise is as follows. One, to place a pending order at the break of the candle. Two, to auto size that order to the risk level that you want to in terms of dollars. Three, have a two part exit, T1 and T2 to whatever levels you specify. Four, move the stop to break even after T1 has been reached as we aim for our second target of T2. And finally, if we get a break on the original candle in the wrong direction, then we want to cancel cancel out the entire order and it is not valid. Okay, so here we go. Please note that your computer must be on at all times for MT4 Supreme to work. If your computer goes into sleep mode, MT4 Supreme will not work. It is best that you use a VPS system so that the computer remains on at all times. Bringing my MT4 forward, we can see here that I've clearly highlighted for us an inside candle situation. Let us assume that we wanted to take a trade at the break of this bottom line in the downward direction. However, should the market go in the opposite direction and hit the top line, we wanted to cancel out that particular order. To take this one step further, once the trade triggered, which we are aiming in this direction, we could have our first target of T1 over here and a second target of T2 in this direction. Once the level of T1 was reached, what we then may want to do is our original stop, which may be over here somewhere, we may then want to grab that and move it to our original entry point, which would be over here, which is what we call our break even point as such. So that's what we're trying to do. Let me bring forward my MT4 Supreme and let's see if we can get it all started. The first thing I need you to do is click on the little star button over here and after you've already installed the MT4 Supreme uh, module what I need you to do is grab a mini terminal as such, click it, drag it onto your chart, make sure that all these have been allow live trading is clicked as such, click OK, make sure also that you've got auto trading set up uh, pressed over here automatically and we are pretty much ready to go. I don't need this anymore so if I click over here I can move it away. Okay so I've drawn some things on our chart. Let us say that we want to trigger the trade when we cross this bottom line. Okay when we get to T1 we're going to take some profit. When we get to T2 we're going to take the second half of the trade and our original stop is going to be up here where I've got the stop line. Okay, I'll talk about this line in a moment but let's just place the original first order. We also need to have some parameters. Let us uh, say that we want to take an initial risk on the trade of let's just call it $700. That's the risk that I'm going to take on the trade, $700. Okay, so that's the first thing I need to note. You have to make that decision, whatever number you want it to be. And now what I want to see is I need to measure the distance between the current price, which is over here where I've just placed my crosshairs, to my entry point, which is around about 325 pips. Okay, and then I, so 325 to my current price. And then the other number that I need is from where I want to enter, how far is my stop? which is a thousand and about 60 odd pips. So let me do it. So what I do is on my mini terminal over here, I click on the little yellow one. You're going to get this window pop up. Make sure that the auto trading is on and everything. Now in the first menu here, buy, we're going, we want to sell. Remember, we got the arrow going down. So it's a, mark, a price below the market. So it's going to be a sell stop. So click on sell stop. Now the entry price, we said it's 325 pips away from our current price. So there we go. Where it says lot size, we change that to fixed cash risk. And it's going to be based on whatever currency your account is. In my particular case, it's Aussie dollars. And we specified that I want to risk 700. So I type in the number 700. It will auto size the trade for me. Now my stop loss, 
I already measured it and I said it was about 1,060, I think I said. That was it. And then T2, let's make T2 1,060 as well, just to make the exercise simple. And then once I've done that, I am going to place the order and it will size the order according to that risk level. So here we go, press place. And notice now, extra lines have appeared on my chart. You can see the dotted line is the stop. The green line is the entry where I've marked it. And you can see down the bottom here, this bottom red line is roughly close to where my T2 is. Also, please note that the program has auto-sized the trade for me. And it says that I need to trade at 0 0.06 to have that $700 risk. Okay, so now I've placed my pending order. This is the first part of the exercise. The second part of the exercise is... If the current price crosses this line over here, we want to cancel this entire order out and we are not interested in having the order into the system. That's what the second part is. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So what we now need to do is grab a, a line from your MetaTrader, so this one over here, and place it where the area that you want. So I'm just going to place it right on top of that one. You can see there it's in yellow. And now what I'm going to do is you need to hold the Alt button on your computer and click on the line at the same time. So I click Alt and click. And then what happens is I'm going to get a pop-out window, which is over here, which has this information on it. Now what you need to do is you need to click on ticket and see this order number that you can see over here this order number there is the same one as that order number over there if you have multiple orders pending orders in the system make sure that you select only the one that matches okay so in most of our cases we're only going to have one so that's okay so we we tick it now we need to click on stop loss okay and then click on advanced and then what you need to click is delete pending orders. Once you've done that, click save and the color of this line is going to change. It indicates to you that it's working. See, the color has changed to this brown. What will now happen is if the market does not go down to get us into the trade and instead it goes up and it hits this level here, it will come and cancel this order out of the system so that you don't have to worry that you're going to get accidentally triggered into the incorrect trade. So essentially, if you do not want to exit this trade in two parts, I've already shown you how to size automatically and how to get in. The final part that I'm going to show you is how do I exit this trade in, get some of the trade out at T1 and the rest of the trade out at T2 and simultaneously grab this line and move it to my break even point. Okay, so I'm just about to show you this part right now. One moment. To do the final part of the exercise, what we need is we need to uh, use the trade terminal, um, the expert advisor. So, and what I like to do is I just want to open up a fresh chart. It doesn't matter what chart it is. So I'll just open up this particular chart. I'm not particularly interested in what kind of chart it is. So here is that chart that I've just opened up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the trade terminal and drop it onto this particular chart. Just click OK, accept everything and what it will do, it's essentially, this is what it looks like and now I can see my, my pending order sitting over here. What I now need to do is as follows. Click on the little hammer sign that you have here and then go to automated close now I've already got some pre set patterns in here but you need to go to create and then what we need to do here is when the ordering profit in pips is greater than or equal to and now remember T2 at the moment is set to about a thousand and sixty so let's say halfway let's make that 530 but you can specify whatever level that you want okay I'm on a live account so I've made my distances very far because I don't want to get triggered during this process of making this video uh, but normally this number would be much much closer so let's say when T1 reaches 530 I want to close now I can choose I can close 
of the trade, fifty percent of the trade, whatever percentage. I'm going to say fifty percent, okay. And at the same time, I'm going to set the stop loss to now whatever you choose. This number make it the same over here, and that basically means that it will move the stop to your entry level to your break even point. Once you've done that, don't worry about anything else. Click apply the rules. Notice that the little hammer has changed colors and what will now happen is if I go back to the chart that we were just looking at over here it, when the trade gets to 530 pips which is over here okay somewhere half of the trade will close so right now we've got 0 0.06 so what happens is 0 0.03 three will close off which will leave another 0 0.03 in the market the stop which originally is right here will move automatically over here and it will wait until either you hit the second target and take more profit or you come back and get stopped out on that second half of the trade okay it is a little bit of a complex uh, process but go back review the video I've done quite a lot of things in here I hope this has helped and I'll speak to you soon in the next one. Bye for now.